Uh, hello, what's happening, everybody? Hope you're having a beautiful and amazing day. Very happy to be here on this fine Saturday for some more Crate Crust and Chain Challenge. Belunky. Let's head on in and see where the day takes us. Somewhere fun, I'm sure. Before we get started here, gonna get uh, into the mine shaft. We'll get some penguin in the hole rolling. Hey, what's up, Nutty Buckeye? Good to see you, J-Rod Qualt. What's up, Kimo Nerd Tavi893? It's good, Slimy Yoshi, Oily Rain Cloud, Major Tom. Hey there, S.A. Dark Soul, Kovum. Good Calendar Man, Funky, Gornilla, Sykes, Skezla, Mr. Geeg. All the other cool early people. Hey there, Alapax, Kriya. All right, Penguin in the hole. Penguin to the moon, you wouldn't. Penguin to the moon. Penguin 180, turn around, chair sit down. There it is. All right, we're going to start the daily today. Might as well. Yo, Jixie, thanks for 110 months, Tharson. Thanks for 39 as well. Cheers. I'll start with one win at least, J-Rod. That's what we're working on right now, our first one. Let's do it. Is there anything down there? Not really. Death to moles. Especially that mole. Screw that guy. Wouldn't be surprised if we use this rule set after our first win, but just doing one one thing at a time. We have some uh, game releases coming up. I'm looking forward to putting a lot of hours into. So uh, this is kind of a four fun challenge. We're gonna keep keep rolling. I don't imagine it being a 20 character set challenge or anything, but who knows? It's been a pretty fun way to play Spelunky and very challenging. Let's right, check back here. Morph. <laughs> Boop. All right, that's that's one one. Pretty good. Hmm. I mean, wicked cool uh, store there if we were buying items, but we're on our Crate Crest and Chain Challenge. I imagine that like 98% of dailies are going to go to Volcana because of the item set shown here. Uh-oh. You okay, Percy? You going to live? Percy lives. Um... Okay, if this spider goes off before I grab the statue, it's going to hit and then hit this statue down. Whoa. That was spicy, boy. Oh, is it really Turkey Town right now? Where's Turkey Town at? Where's Turkey Town? Turkey Town's up here? Okay. I don't know about that. So right now it'd be two ropes to get back to Turkey Town. That seems like a bit much. Maybe though. Is there a way I can get there with this turkey and the mole? Might be, might be. Okay, not quite. Hmm. Yeah, I can't commit two ropes here. I, I wish. Ropes are pretty much the most valuable resource for us. Just looking. All right, Kali Shrine down there. Hmm. 
think I'm going to populate this body down. Ooh, I got hit there. Fair enough. Don't appreciate it, but I also don't disagree. That's so two sack points. Uh, yeah. That's kind of tempting, actually. I'm thinking with the turkey here, I might actually be able to get Kapala. I uh, got a minute and a half left. Uh, it's going to be stretching it. We'll try, though. Spike shoes is our item. Fair. Oh, spike shoes. Right. <laughs> right. You know, maybe possible here. Thinking probably not, but maybe. Put the getaway turkey right here. No. It's not gonna happen. That's fair. Okay, we got halfway there. It's still worth the bomb. Oh, wait! Here it is! It's gonna get tricky real quick. Kapala gets. <laughs> All right, we got him. We got him. Ow! What was my face? Yeah, triple hit on that rock right there. That was awesome. Bring it on, you oversized turkey. Boom, 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 boom. That has not gone off yet. Incessant buzzings. Let's 
going to keep the boomerang here. Ow, my face. Yo, Resurrection Hotline, thanks for 55 months. Appreciate that continuation very much. Thank you. Said it before, I'll say it again. Recurring sub is the best way to support my content. Thank you all for the amazing opportunity to continue to be here after 12 years on the site. It is and continues to be awesome. Okay, that's 2-1. Not a single brown crate on this run so far. Not a complaint, merely an observation. Hmm, yeah. Let's go. There's a crate right there. Boom, boom, boom. Get down to the uh, second layer here to guarantee we're going to see the bow. There it is. All right, just just look in. My cat Daisy just been on a tear, bringing us stuff the past three days. Yo, Ho Che, thanks for 51 months, dude. Hope you're doing awesome. Greg and Balto, thanks for 80 months as well. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Daisy Do. Did I get him? Not quite. Almost. Here we go. Yeah, happy Saturday indeed. Indeed. All right, bow in hand feels nice. black market there. Let's just get a little peek at where it actually is. Okay, well, directly below this. Okay, I see it right here. Okay, so the problem with this is that the ghost urn is right there, so we're gonna do a little technique. What we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, place a bomb here and then we're gonna whip it. It also put it on the corner, but this is going to be uh, best, I think. Get right up on the edge of this lip here. We're going to place the bomb. We're going to whip it away so it will not destroy the ghost turn. We can do a similar trick to get the damsel of those encrusted scenarios. Alright, so we're buying Hajit here. None of this other cool stuff, though. Pretty cool daily. Good for Volcana. Black Market has Jetpack as well. That's cool. Yeah. 
Okay, and hurrah. spicy level right now. I stole a rope. Don't steal a rope from me. That's my most precious resource, sir. I don't see where my thing went. All right, it's gonna it's gonna move along then. All right, Olmec, here we go, bud. check for crates above here okay there is one it's not an easy one to get but it's not impossible either perfect that was definitely worth it so I'm going to bring him just to, to the left of this gap, and then we'll go down. Since we have no movement equipment, we want to do this on the left-hand side, so we can use the gray block here to simplify phase two. Oh, ye. Yeah. Start on the wall because it's best policy. Get him, got him good. Profitable climb here. Haha. <laughs> nice jukes there, scarabs. Well dodged. Oh, I need this parachute. Okay, needs a little bit strong, but I'd strongly like to have that parachute. Right. 
guy riding a turkey mad lad. Now I'm a guy riding a turkey carrying a dog. It continues. I grab this, uh... We now have enough for the final challenge, so that's great. Any cool shrines here? Looks like no. Turkey pouch. Never saw it coming. Didn't hit the thing? What? Oh, right. I have spike shoes. That's good. Make sure it was not shrine over here. I don't think it was. That's a noper. Did I actually get stuck down here? I, think I did. All right. So how are we getting unstuck without using a rope? peek over here. Yeah, it kind of looks like the uh, skip area is down on the bottom side. Is that it right there? Yeah, we're going to be able to climb up to that, it looks like, to me. I'm just going to leave my sword right here for the moment. I'm going to cook this crab at 8,000 degrees for two seconds. tried to kill me there. What a lad. Hmm. Is it possible that there's a opening down here? Maybe. Uh. It's like a noper. Yeah, you got through a great rain. Congrats on the move. Sit back, relax, enjoy. You made it. Bloop. Okay, if I could put the damsel on the shrine, that'd be cool, so we can start building health resource again. I don't think damsel's available here. Okay, there's damsel. Maybe it is. Maybe we can get over here. No, the, the shrine was sequestered, right? No, it's not. Ooh, can I make it back over there? I'm not convinced on that. I think I could use a bomb. I'm going to go ahead and use a rope or bomb here anyways. Yeah, I'm not making that jump. Unless... Yo, Rorschach, thanks so much for nine months of support. Delbach, thanks for 110 tier three subbing. Crazy. Thank you so much, Delbach and Giesel. Thanks for 80 months. Much appreciation. I refuse to use a rope. You can't make me.
Okay, none of that. Trying to look for crates over here. There's a lot of possible treasure spawns in this back area, so it's not a not an unlikely spot to get a crate. Or even an unlikely spot to get something in the crust, too. Okay. No crate. Thanks for pulling yourself just a little bit closer there, Kingu. Appreciate the effort. Simple gold snake. Simple gold snake is our urn for today. Looking for a simple face golden urn with a snake on it. Which side's the front? This side's the front. Chip Chapman, reporting for duty. First I'm gonna chip you, then I'm gonna chop you. That was a pretty pleasant uh, ice caves. Thinking this might not be the way down. Let's find out though. It is the way down. Let's not. Alright, gotta find the urn room here, and then we gotta get simple gold snake. That's the one here. Alright, so I'm gonna wait for this to uh, knock these guys down a little bit. There we go. Here's the urn room. Next pass, maybe. Ugh. Simple gold snake. It's literally right here at the entrance. Love when that happens. It's also in a good timing. Let's just take it. Icy boy. All right, me and my dog a legend are out of here. In a very Neo Babs level. Oh no. My dog a legend alive? It is. No. Okay. Well, that's that. GG. Um, okay. Having done that, let's... Grab a shotgun here. Get my shotguns crushed. Fair. I kind of want to go back up here. I think I will. I'm going to give this a go. Let's see what happens here. Yo, only Marma. Thanks for 44 months. Appreciate that continuation. Thank you.
Oops. Yeah, I goofed that one right away. Ooh, I killed something there? Interesting. Yo, Sam Dyer, thanks so much for 60 months. Much appreciation. <laughs> okay. GG on that. Nice run. Very little equipment to work with there. Hey, Sam Dower, thanks for 60 months. Appreciate that five years. Thank you, thank you. All right, let's do one more just regular run here. tricky segment there. A lot of ways to get punched on that one. All right, here we go. Turkey Town, Turkey Town, Turkey Town. Okay, we can see inside Turkey Town here, and it looks like a bust. I mean, maybe there's a crate on the right-hand side, but it's looking pretty, pretty bad. Definitely not looking to bring any uh, turkeys back up here using resources, for sure. Okay, no thanks on that. Turkey, turkey, turkey. I will take these turkeys to 1 3, though, so if there's a shrine, then all the time, maybe. Your voice echoes in here, it means it's more likely there's going to be a shrine. Because the level's larger, so there's more chances for shrine generation. Take that, you ridiculous mole. What were you thinking? Okay, double crate over here. Hmm. Yes, I will. That was a cool, cool turkey jump right there, dude. Alright, just looking for crates and stuff up here. I'm too worried about the money at the moment. Okay, I only need one turkey to get these right now. Oh, I'm not down far enough. Never mind. Gobble, gobble, gobble. All right, ropes and... That was a super useful turkey, man. Ooh. Machete. I don't think I'm going to use machete here. It's a nice tool. Oh, maybe I am, though. Okay, I have not seen the key yet, which is concerning. But I've also been very thorough in my clearings. So I, don't, I don't believe we've missed it here. Oof. Fair enough. Alright, so is getting to the urn area a nightmare here? It is. Ow, dude.
All right. So definitely not ideal, but also we got it. It was voice echoes, so I'll take take my lick. Grab my puppers, get on out of here. Just checking. up there on the ladder all right not bad not bad doing his darndest. He's trying to help. Take a nap, sir. That'd be more helpful than what you're doing right now. Trust me. Okay, see at least one item down here. See the uh, fringe of a uh, arrow trap, which is guaranteed. Probably getting cursed here. Not unlike he didn't get cursed. Good job, man. Proud of you. Let's make sure the black market wasn't here. Actually, it can't be because the uh, challenge was.
Yo, Delicate Sound of Thunder, thanks for 51 months. Appreciate that continuation. Thanks a lot. Okay, didn't steal a bomb. That's nice. Hmm, looks like we can cut through there. It's fair. I heard that. Where is it really? Here? go from a little bit too high there. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right, well, before we head into another one here, we're just going to take a short break to uh, to eat. Food's already prepared. Thanks to my lovely wife. Uh, please do enjoy the kitters that will appear here on camera in just a moment. We'll be back in uh, just a second for some more Spelunky 2 action.
Alrighty, we have returned. Thanks so much for your patience during that brief one. I appreciate it. During the break, Kassan Moore, thanks for 30 months. Squirrely22, thanks for 16 months as well. Uh, Mocha, thanks for 16 earlier. Top Hat, 121. Sorry for missing you both. Let's head on in here. At least one more run today. I'd like to make Cosmic Ocean. Truthfully, though, my hands are very ready for a break from uh, Spelunky and platforming games in general. I'm very much looking forward to Bellatro on the 20th, this upcoming Tuesday. And then shortly after that, two weeks, the uh, Backpack Battles gets its early access release. It's going to be a short early access, one to three months. The release of the two new classes going to be awesome. Those are very much um, mouse-only games which I'm looking forward to. The s'more style can, I guess? Being a baddie, man. Being a baddie, man. All right, here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Yo, Rapid Savalcock, thanks so much for 14 months. Much appreciation. Yeah, I definitely exercise and stretch regularly past using a simulator, but uh, Spelunky is a very input heavy game, and 1400 hours of Spelunky over the past couple of years is a lot. I do rotate several games in and out for, uh, for that purpose. It's good to have a rest period. Oh my god. Okay, I thought we were dead there. Could have just been patient, but I wasn't. Ooh, where is the dwelling area? Uh-oh. I think this one might be a bust here. Hmm. Where is it? Is there a set of spikes there? The hell? A little confused now where it is. What? Okay, so it's very bottom left. We'll call that one a mulligan. Very peculiar layout for finding the uh, Ujat Eye. Yo, Rabbit Savile Cup, thanks for 14 months. Carrot, thanks for 136. And our staff, thanks so much for 24. Appreciate that two years. Thank you. Honestly, kind of a bizarro first level. I'll take it. Boom, 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 boom. Huh. Yo, I know I can use Turkey to get back up here. That's probably a good idea. Okay, <laughs> so I can't rescue that Turkey without crushing it or using a bomb. That's tough. To think about that. I think uh, with how today's gone so far, I'm going to go ahead and use a bomb to get this. Mm -mm -mm 
Turkey tan, turkey tan, turkey tan. Right, let's tame the turkey in here. Get him. Get him. So our gambit of the bomb didn't pay off, but now we know. like the dwelling area might be behind the store here it is okay at least we can just walk to it it's not near as bad as i imagined it was going to be Whoop. Whoop. are we f jumping right now god easy f jump i don't know where those are coming from got a lot better at that lately a tough maneuver Over here, maybe? Oh, Ghost Room was on this side. Uh, Kaja, the chain is the items that are required to enter the um, enter the final Cosmic Ocean level. What that refers to. So anything related to the challenge rooms or other areas like that. Oh, okay. Well, I missed. I think I just got to roll with this then. Yep. Yeah, all right. Fair enough. All right, Kali Shrine, let's go. I got sprongs, that's helpful. Now, can we get this kidders without using bombs? The answer is no, we can't. Yes, the ghost does enter the back layer for sure. All right, that puts us at 12 sacrifice points out of the 16 required. I mean, it is only one bomb to get Kapala. I might go for it, even though it's going to put us very low bomb count. Yeah, it's either use a bomb or a rope here, and I think I'm a lot more inclined to use a bomb.
Yo, Little Addictions, thanks for 48 months, and Rest Cure, thanks for 108. Thank you. Okay. No items in here? Okay, fair enough. Yeah, zero item challenge. Fair. Black markets in here, then? Got Hadji, let's go. Ali Ma. Eye out for this. Not seeing a key area here. Doesn't mean we can't get back up here with a key, though. Right, maybe not. Okay, interesting. Is this the sister or the key? Looks like the sister. Oops. Here we go. Just looking. Since we have spring shoes here, it doesn't really matter where we uh, drop this down. Still. 
I'm gonna do the normalized method here. Keep it like where we don't have spring shoes. Why does this get so weird? Oh, I see, because he's not actually all the way up against the wall. I get it now. Right, exactly enough here. It is possible we get locked out of the uh, the onk skip area because we have no bombs, and that's exactly because we missed the quillback kill on one four. Still hopeful here, though. Later, Tater. Ooh, that's gross. Let's go. Let's go. That's a yucker. <laughs> Interesting. You got poison from that? Oh, man. I disagree, but fair. We did not get locked out of our area, which is very exciting. Hmm. Okay, we see door on the top right here. Good info.
Looking good. Okay, that's a little rude. Uh, what do we throw at this guy? That'll do it. Items back here. Okay, simple jade. Onk. Simple Jade Onk. I keep an eye out for crates here in the ice caves. Getting even one bomb bag reward would be very helpful. Little guy in a big old mech coming through. Compass, all right. More ropes, fair. Good job, Daisy. You found the last treat. Good job. Crunch, crunch. Yo, Sludeboard the Magnificent. Thanks so much for 23 months. Appreciate that continuation. Cheers. No big deal. Just a casual lunk in here. Extra casual, extra lunk. Yeah, the Yetis drop guaranteed ropes and spike shoes. So not too much sense on going in there in this rule set. Jade Onk? That's the one right here, man. Let's go. He's not going to go down, I don't think. Oh, okay. Mm, 
going up. Right, so first goal here is make sure we get the bow. I'm also going to make sure we don't miss the challenge area. It already kind of looks like the challenge area might not be on this level. Just has that, that look to it. Yo, board, thanks so much for that. Tier 2, 80 months. Thank you. And indeed, the challenge area is not here. Yeah, let's grab our four health here. We'll probably grab puppers too. There is no hell area in Spelunky 2, Rescue. That is exclusive to Spelunky HD. I might as well grab buffers. We're here. Slower. Not a single vampire spawn there is pretty nifty. I think what I'm I think I'm gonna buy a three bomb bag here so I'm not really buying items in the challenge but at zero bombs right now if we reach cosmic ocean um, it'd just be pretty easy to get soft locks so uh, I'm gonna make an exception here and buy one one bomb bag I just don't want to get soft locked at cosmic ocean it's pretty allowed a uh, pretty um, reasonable that all find more bombs, but we haven't found any this run. Yo, King Crab Legs, thanks for 46 months. Appreciate that continuation. Ooh, that hit me? It did. a little 10 damage there. 
I'll additionally say if I do find a bomb bag here shortly, I'll drop the three bombs that um, I picked up from the store. Yo, King Crab Legs, thanks for 46 months. Lord Archangel, thanks for almost 70 months of support. And Mort 1337, thanks for 79 months. Cheers. Okay, interesting. Can I... Get enough momentum on this rock. Oh, this guy will do it for me. What a lad. Thanks, lad. Ropes again. Wow. All ropes, no bombs. All right. Hundun climb remains here. Hey, Rising Cambry. There it goes. Thanks for seven months. Appreciate that prime continuation. Thanks for making it official once more. Really appreciate that. Glad your notification finally showed up for you. That's a yikes right there. Get up it, you oversized turkey. Alright, a little bit of water here, not too bad. Hey, the Lonely Elk, thanks for 23 months. Appreciate that prime continuation as well. Y'all yeah, excellent. Just thank y'all for that amazing support. We got a fun stream today and tomorrow, and then we're off Monday, and then Bellatro full release begins on Tuesday next week. Gonna be a good time. That was my fault. Alright, that was our best snake kill yet. Easy best snake kill. Basically, water can um, change your movement mid-air pinball box, so it creates a, a rated miss, which can sometimes be bad. Okay, well, here we go. We only got three bombs. The three bombs we bought from the store, which are basically the three bombs we could have gotten from... Uh, We'll back, but we missed that kill. Fair enough. So, so far, no bomb drops on the entire run. It's spicy. Okay, we found the top of the level here. Okay, we found the exit, top mid, top right-ish. All 
Necros. It's almost certainly going to be our last orb. Okay, interesting. Oh yeah, parachute. I remember now. Hmm. I mean, okay, so I could get healthier, but we'll see about that. At least to our advantage here, the... Uh, the mummy's contained where he's at. Oh, no. That's tough. That's probably GG. We'll see. My bad. I guess now getting health on the uh, the mummy makes even more sense. A bit of a requirement, even. Okay. Gonna be a tight one. What? Oh, the poison tick upwards set off the uh, the thing there. Interesting. Hmm. That wasn't even the edge. Fair enough. That's it. GG. Fun run all around. We did really well considering we had no uh, no bombs to work with the entire run. Well, hey, man, that was a very, very spelunky run. All right, guys, we're going to hop into some backpack battles now. Still be playing spelunky after a uh, Bellatro and um, backpack battles releases here, but I'm probably going to keep it to a run or two a day at most. Uh, yellow cape's fine on the challenge as long as it's not a guaranteed drop. Alright, let me get, uh, title swapped here. Getting some music going, and then we'll uh, head on in. One moment. Gonna be doing another round of music ads to our playlist uh, before Backpack Battles releases on March 8th. So, if you have any suggestions, feel free to add them to our Discord channel. We'll be happy to take a look. Okay. All right, just grabbing my pillow here, and then we will head in to our first run. Let's start with Reaper today.
All right, here we go. Let's see if we can climb it to like mid diamond today. Well, starting with a goober definitely doesn't hurt. On sale goobert. All right. I'm debating what's going to be the best way to actually set this up. I kind of just want to grab the pan since we already have goober, but. Yeah, I mean, we're only using one side of Goobert here. Is that right? Let's buy the pan on sale, and let's do a roll, see what's up. All right, it's something. I kind of want to grab the uh, inventory space and the garlic here, so we can have uh, an actual Goobert setup, but... Probably better to buy a banana. Just do the one side. Yeah, let's get banana here. Uh, let's lock this, and I'll buy the garlic for next round. Bit of a weirdin. Yo, Snaggle2, thanks for 50 months. Appreciate that 5-0. Thank you. Wow, double bubble here, huh? Dub bubs. Uh, yeah, I'd like to make... Shovel here. Let's go like this, actually. Then we can move this over. Okay, so we're gonna make shovel this round. Banana. Let's actually put garlic here. And lock this. Might as well buy this, I guess. Setup will be a little more normal after this round. Yeah, that's definitely fair. They had shield and shovel already. Okay. They can probably store it and making torch here looks pretty nice. where we're at right now. So with that, let's go ahead and buy the uh, sword here in the coal to make a torch next round. I'm going to leave my two. I'm not even going to roll here. I'm really glad you can make it blood win. Cheers. This improves our offense a lot to have two weapons instead of just the one. Mm. 
Gloves are good. Hungry Blade's also, like, pretty amazing here. I think I'm just going to trade the torch directly for the Hungry Blade. It's just uh, somewhat unfortunate because we just paid for uh, the other, but I think it's still worth it. Let's also go here now. Like this. Hmm. I think gloves is a good pickup here. Let's uh, let's roll again. Yeah. Okay. Um. We already have two stones, so like the bag of stones is not uh, inefficient. Can still make those hit. I think I might. The other option would be to sell off the the two rocks here and go into more of a food strat. That might actually be better for us right here. Let's go ahead and reserve this and this and leave this going. Let's just sell for two. Could very technically get the space right now, but I want to keep the gloves. Yo, Grenla, thanks for 84 months. Hope you have an awesome Saturday too. Thanks so much. Yeah, nice, nice hits by them. Torch caught up with me. Okay. So I'm gonna buy this so I can go like this and here. Seems to be a more cohesive setup. To sell these two rocks. Huh. I'd like the gloves on both here, but I think I'm going to go like this instead. percent faster. Let's go. Hmm. I'm going to lock the herbs here because it does activate the Hungry Blade, which is this vampirism, which is uh, definitely good. Boy, how's they got armor right here and they're cleansing poison. That's tough for us. Can we out persist the fatigue damage? So we're still gaining on poison. That's kind of surprising, but cool. Our stamina seems to be holding stable here as well with the two weapons, which is awesome. All right, we beat holy armor. That's surprising. All right, we dug up a blueberry. Get another food synergy here. Okay, let's buy this, and where are... where is the... 
Fanny Pat gonna live? I think Fanny Pack's gonna live. Probably in between these two. No roll for me here. Let's just go with it. so bad. Ooh. Okay, yes, I definitely want the ruby egg. It's very early to get ruby eggs, so this is a, a nice um, power level increase for us. It's a matter of where do I make this fit. Well, let's just say we're buying it for starters. Can get the coal list, so it'd be, it'd be nicest if it was up here. Maybe I'll just go like this for right now. And put the Amanita here. Okay, let's do a roll with that. Uh, yeah? Yeah, there's Corrupted Crystal right there. How am I feeling about Corrupted Crystal? Also, how am I feeling about Mana Thirst? say pretty good about Mana Thirst. Go ahead and lock that. Let's lock this too. I'm a little tempted to sell the Chip Ruby and the Chip Topaz to pick up the inventory space this turn so I get better food synergy. I think that's going to be our best call, in fact. Not the coal. Coal's going to get lit this round. Which is every five seconds, five seconds, four seconds, three and a half. So it'd actually make me best to have the... Blueberry there. Okay. That is a nasty bag they got. Dang. Not gonna win the War of Attrition on this one. Their damage is scaling incredibly fast on the Magic Torch. I got bippity boppin'. Well, on sale is always worth considering. But I, I will admit that the... The lock lifter looks really nice. We're about to have three weapons, so let's go ahead and do that. Wow. Hmm. You know, uh, Wolpertinger could definitely work here. I guess for right now, this is fine. And fix it up later. Let's go ahead and make the Mana Thirst. 
Yo, some albino gaming. Thanks for 88 months. Enjoy that lurk. Luck while S12. Thanks for six months of Prime as well. Really appreciate that, man. Thank you. Damn, they are adding poison so fast. How? They have pandemonium is how. This uh, gives poison every time food activates. Really nice. Wow. I need a use for mana now, but um, we're definitely on to something here. And this other egg is almost too good to pass up, I think. Gotta go for the other egg. I'm still gonna save for the Wolpertinger here because we can get a really nice bonus on that. Okay, this is not it. Debating what style of configuration is going to allow us to have the Locklifter hitting enough of the the weapons here. It's a tough one. Mm, that'll definitely help. All right, adequate for the moment. Let's lock this too. Ooh, pretty beefy staff as well. I think we might win out this one. I think we're a little bit faster than they are now that we have the dragon. Ooh, look at that. Look at that armor though. Oh, I think they got me here. Indeed. Pretty solid. All right, good luck to me on this one. Hey, Finnick SWE, thanks for tier two, 104 months of support. Thank you. Been seeing in this meta a lot more um, mana builds, especially with the uh, Magic Torch, which is a really strong item. All this mana and nowhere to use it. Okay. We survived. Alright, so now we have a uh, double dragon Wolpertinger with a bird. So if I can get the Wolpertinger next to both the dragons and the bird at the same time, that is going to be... Uh, 45% faster triggering of the gain three buffs every five seconds. That should be pretty powerful. 
How we actually make that happen is a whole different question. I think right now we're looking at uh, redoing the entire bag. It's a very quick restroom break for me, and then we're going to reconfigure this to try to maximize the Wolpertinger synergies. Let's, uh, let's redo this bag and see what's up. Gonna have a lot of things go right in order to, uh, to win here. Ooh, okay, this is, this is definitely something I want. It, it might even be worth it to, uh, drop something to beat Mana Orb this round. I wouldn't doubt it. All right, configuration-wise, if we go like this and get for 2.2 seconds is not bad. Okay, well, there's that. Don't know how this is going to work with Mr. Goobs, but it's uh, it's definitely looking okay. I feel like Goobert's a lot less important in this build than he was a moment ago. Okay, so if Wolpertinger is right here, and then Bird was, like, right here. He's hitting three of my four weapons. So we're going to set to 45, 60% faster on gaining the three random buffs. Maybe. I'm just really wondering where Goobert's going to fit in here. Seems like a very tough Goob to pull off. Maybe Goob goes, um... Maybe Goob goes in here sideways. 
Nice, Sykes. Great build, man. Nice work. Also, if the bird was pointed at the Wolpertinger, it'd be even better, because then we can get up to 40% faster on top of that. So if you get up to 100% faster, so every two seconds or so, it'd proc. this as well. Uh... I'm going to sell this for these and put banana here. This looks, um, aight. I think that's it. So we got a, a medium goobs now, but we now have uh, the lock lifter on all four of our weapons. We have triple star synergy on the Wolpertinger, and we have gloves pointed here. So we got... Uh, 15, 30, 45% faster, 60% faster, no, 65% faster, and then up to 40% faster uh, here. So we're going to be receiving a lot of randomized buffs, and then we can fit the mono orb probably in right here uh, next round to uh, get even more randomized buffs, if we live. Big if right now. Okay. Hmm. Crown is a really good item for uh, escalating here. I could also get an additional mana thirst. That's kind of tempting. This item, though, for six it almost certainly has to get added in here. I mean, also lets us become invulnerable for a very short period. Does give us a moderately weaker Goobert, but really good on the mana gain. I think making poison goob right now sounds awesome. Let's go ahead and get this going. I think the blueberry should still be in here. Not untempting to get that. Sells for four, so we could sell and sell these two to get the, the blade here. Yeah. Okay. Point six, one point four. These should be swapped. Ah, we're missing the uh, life steal on one of the weapons with this setup. Okay. I 
I see a couple ways to pull this off. Okay. I think this looks really good. We got the uh, lifesteal on all four of the weapons now. We got full Wolpertinger support. We got poison goo being made. We've got good mana generation here too. Let's go. Turned a corner big time on this build. I mean, there's definitely still builds out here that can crush us pretty bad, but uh, all in all, feeling pretty happy at the moment. Fanny pack, yes. Damage usage is still just at one, so these bananas aren't actually as important. They do provide a source of healing, but uh, I'll buy it because I can sell it back for two anyways. Ooh. Okay. Well, the blood gem to make uh, vampiric gloves improves Volpertinger even more, but. Uh, I should definitely consider uh, picking up this guy this turn, too, and just plugging him in here. It provides essentially the same benefit. Yeah, I don't want to make Mana Thirst tier, bro. It's Brian. I understand the confusion, because that's what I said. But uh, uh, two of those doesn't actually help us right now as much as getting to 30 Mana on the Mana Orb. Not quite there at the moment. Yeah, I'm curious on this one. I think I'm going to try it out. No, I definitely said I, I said about monitors and I kind of trailed off in my thoughts, so uh, understandable confusion. The vampiric gloves are also amazing. Tough choice. Just putting it right here would be pretty sweet, the vampiric gloves. Let's lock the uh, Volpertinger and let's sell off a banana here to pick up these. Yeah, there is Capitus Comfort here as well, so really nice set of store. I think I'm going to go for this synergy instead, but uh, certainly some good options here. Good luck to me. Yo, Mighty Moss, thanks for 53 months once again. And Kinster, thanks for 70 months. Appreciate that 7-0. Thank you. Close one here, it looks like. All right, so I'm going to put the uh, gloves here now, and then I'm going to buy Volpertinger. Double, double pet synergy plus the bird. We're not going to do better than two synergy here, I don't think. There's somehow a way you get more? No. I'll take a look at this real quick. <laughs> it does look pretty nice, huh? All right, so that's a total of four stars we'd get, whereas 
This way we get two, and then we get six star on the Volper Tinger. Okay, six star sounds better. We'll lock this. Let's do a roll here. That's got to be really good if we live. Frankly, the ripsaw blade here is also stupendous. This does hit all four of the orb items. I think that's probably acceptable since we already have the um, the speed synergy here. We're getting three of the four items that hit here. Uh, good. Oh, hey, here's another option. Hold on. We can go like this. Uh, still only four. Okay. Never mind. Wow, another one, though? All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna lock this in this. We'll see what happens with that. Got to survive first. Okay, and good note, we do clear blind with the uh, crown, so we're counteracting a pretty big part of the enemy's build here. I mean, that's pretty good. Not getting six this round. Next round, I'm going to plug it in right here, though, if we make it. Might even take this one to survival mode, but I don't think it's, like, the best build. It's uh, very interesting. Holy bananas, dude. Oh, yeah. That's a really great hammer build. Wow. They were still technically losing stamina there. Awesome. Yo, Penality, thanks for 109 months of support. Much appreciation. Thank you. All right, that's a good opener. Let's go again. Definitely opened a torch here. I mean, garlic on sale. Let's go. By the pan, too. So we're uh, hitting things. I'd say high stamina is much less of an issue in the early game than it is later game. Hmm. Let's lock that. 
I'll just put the coal inside the can here. You've been a bit bopman. Well, I could drop pan and go double torch, but... I think I'm gonna sell pocket sand here and buy a shield. So Ranger Starters, you get a 10% crit hit chance for weapons inside the bag, and then plus crit chance per um, clover. Okay. Definitely want to get the um, garlic next to the pan here. Another little pagly, huh? Very uh, greedy start here. Close. Spear for three is mighty good here, I will admit. Okay, let's at least buy this. I think I'm gonna buy this coal too and then roll. Okay, spike shields available here. Let's, well. That's tough. Yeah, we're going to sell the pig. We're going to buy inventory space. I want to drop the pan or the torch. I think the transformation of the pan seems nicer in this build, though Monotorch probably has the highest upside. All in all, toughy to decide. I guess a uh, torch and spear a little, a little bit easier to manage. Let's lock the gloves here. Hmm. Right hit this on the side, move this down. So we're going to interfere with the spear a little bit. We still got four free stars, though, so that'd be um, still going to destroy 16 armor per hit. So if we run into like a, an armor build right now, it's still going to be pretty good. Let's let it ride. 
Okay. Ooh, villain sword. I've seen this thing in a long time. Apparently it's quite good here in the early game. Bear. We're just selling the piggy bank now. And it definitely feels like a good time to go into thorns. Let's drop the torch here. Uh, this game releases on March 8th in Early Access. I don't know what the price point will be, but no, it will not be free on release. Okay. What about if I rotate this way? Yeah. I think I like that. I almost think I should just drop the spear now. If I drop spear in one of the coals, I can get the uh, armor plus the thorn whip. I'm going to do that. Go here. And here. Weird bag, man. Wow. I think Gloves of Attack are looking pretty good right now. What's the uh, stamina on Gloves of Attack? 0.3? Oh, yeah. Make that a reality. Probably not a bad time to pick up Goob, and I'm also very much liking this heart. This is definitely a strong item. It's at a 1% chance to appear right now. Why? That's tough, dude. Alright, I'm gonna buy Goob. Well, I'm gonna jiggle my Goob a little bit at least. Like, right now I'm looking at the bag, where is Goob even going to fit? Not the best goob, but it's our goob. I accept. I'm going to lock this. Honestly, holy armor as well sounds okay if we're gonna make this work, but I have to trade out the leather armor. 
So I guess we could look at trading out leather armor for holy armor and go for more of a holy build. Eh. Yeah, I think I will, actually. Pretty nice bag they got there. Alright, now I got Claws of Attack. Okay, we're at medium, and these get faster. Oh, 5% faster for every Thorns? Okay. We need to find some ways to improve our stamina consumption, then. Okay, I bet I can get this set up on the other side. It's also every three seconds, so this is a very decent um, Goobert activator. I probably don't want the, the whip inside the fanny packs here. Be all right in these, though. I think the best thing I can put in the fanny packs right now is actually, um... Banana. Oh yeah, okay. Might not even want the thorns on that, it's a tough choice. It's definitely better. So I think the cleansing of the poison is going to be very helpful for us here. They have a very nice uh, poison build themselves. We've got stamina issues. Looking for a Wolpertinger or just more bananas, I think. Alright, we won. Alright, this one's a no-brainer. Poison Ivy. Get poison inflicted when we gain thorns and resistance to nature stuff. Yeah. And still no inventory space to use that. It's tough. Okay.
Another holy item here. Damn. Definitely don't think we need more stamina, and uh, maybe I maybe make blood goob on this round. The other option is to buy this and go into the crown next round. What's blood goob's deal? So he steals steals life, gain vampirism. Yeah, I think blood goob is acceptable. No 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 no. All right, let's see if we can make this work. I think this is a little bit of a mistake I'm making, but um, if we make it all the way to the end of that build, it should be awesome. So I guess best this round is just to buy the crown. And what is this? Every 2.5 seconds. I'm gonna move up the thing here so I can put the crown next to the goober. It's a guaranteed activator, so it should be pretty good. Every time I run into that magic torch build, I get wrecked. That's fair, man. So what I'd like here is... This working. No bananas awkward here, but it's what we're going to do. Also, no clover. Weird bag, man. I've been seeing this configuration a lot lately. The two arrows pointing at each other with the uh, the arrow item. Definitely a good one. Woo! That was big money hits they just had there. Yikes. Ripsaw Blade. Maybe this is worth replacing the Thorn Whip with. I think regardless of what happens this round, it's going to be important for us to purchase some inventory space. And also go anywhere now. Get inventory space built. Holy Shield is another holy item. Let's go in on it and see what happens. Okay. Yeah, Ripsaw Blade counters us pretty hard here. That's fair. What does this count as? Epic accessory. Okay, good luck to me. I got holy synergy here. I'm thinking the Holy Synergy is probably not quite enough still. Ooh, Pandemonium is a great item. 44 poison, yikes.
That's fair. So, uh, we went into Holy too soon, and I think Holy needs, uh, it needs pieces before you build into it. And I knew that, but I still wanted to try it. I accept. Okay, definitely gonna pick up, um, Spike Shield here. Let's go for Broom as well. Let's go for a, a greedy play here. I'm going to sell the Fly Agaric and I'm going to buy the Box of Riches. Honestly, that's a super nutty start getting the double weapon goob. Still have a chance here, it looks like. Wow, I'm really surprised we won that. More or less what happened was we got really lucky on the shield rocks. Here we go. Ooh, close one. Okay. for this round, we just leave the spike shield off. Maybe instead, since it's only medium here, there's another way. I think it's a little bit dubious to set it up this way, but I'm willing. Ooh, I kind of want to take this uh, chipped amethyst. Let's go ahead and toss that in an armor slot here. It's 15% less healing for the enemy. Definitely not bad. Just thinking the sooner I get these combined, the better off I'm going to be. That's fair. I think we lost that because we combined both shields here. If we would have had the weapon and banana in there, uh, would have gone a little different. $2 glove, yep. Let's roll after that. Okay, I got Corrupted Crystal here. Another gem bag as well, which is interesting. This leaves no space for the uh, thing there. That's fine. Okay. 
Let's make torch this round. Let's let it ride. Dagger's tempting, but I need just bag space. I think I'm going to go for Gloves of Attack here. Probably drop a uh, Broom. Okay, anyways, before we do this... Let's get it set up like this so Goob is activated on both shields. It's going to be awesome. gonna drop the broom here to make room are right, wait for me to activate both sides here should be oh. not you goobs Don't need the banana, technically. Okay, Ruby's every five seconds still on life, so we can put the Ruby here to have another activator. And then we can go. Go for the reduced healing here. So we're at 30% less healing right now with the double amethyst. And we're gonna buy this. Actually combine the rubies. Well, maybe not. One more roll, please. Definitely something to think about. Nothing at the moment to actually activate this off of, but we can get a banana in here. Banana! Eh. Let's let it roll. Hey, my, my pleasure, Gucci. Thanks for being here. Happy to be here on this awesome Saturday. Reminder, we have stream today, stream tomorrow. We're off on Monday, and then we have uh, Bellatro, uh full release on Tuesday next week. Very excited for that. And then this game gets its early access on March 8th, which is going to be awesome, too. That dude got all goobed up, man. By goobs. Now you're thinking with goober to goobs. Pineapple's easy choice here. We got crazy thorns right now. Wow, another Amethyst here? Um, okay, let's unlock these then.
I think I'm gonna buy the Amanita in hopes that we get Blood Goob or Poison Goob later. This song right here. Oh yeah. The Deadbolt OST, great game. We're outpacing them. Indeed. Yeah, I'm super not opposed to uh, another Tusk here, maybe picking up another Claws of Attack. Put the Ruby in here. Which is this one? 15% of damage dealt. Hmm. Do I pick that up then? I think I do. And then I buy the tusk here. Hello, fellow Thorns build. How do you do? Wow, they're outpacing my thorns in a very major way. We were saved by the grace of Goober on that one. I'd normally go for the lock lifter here, but it's like... Amon convinced at the moment. What would chat take here? I'm leaning between uh, Hexblade and Locklifter. Kind of think Cursed Dagger has some nice bonuses at the moment. Oh, as initial heads up, uh, before this game releases on March 8th, we'll be doing another round of uh, additions to the music playlist. If you have any suggestions, you can drop them in the music suggestion channel on Discord. Appreciate those. I think Dagger looks okay here. It's just more damage, and it gets us uh, hitting faster. Oh, snap a -roozle. I think I'm about ready to drop the box of riches to make more space now. It'll also let us uh, go in here, I guess. I don't really have the regeneration for that right now. Let's do a roll on this and see what shows up. All right, well, I'm not opposed to getting blood goobered here. That's that's for sure. There we go. Blood Goobert, I accept. Five mana gain, gain two armor. This is pretty nice on weapons, but just not required here. I 
Uh, I know I'm going to buy the inventory space, so maybe I just do that now. certainly do have options here. And keep box around and maybe like buy the armor to go for additional um, healing reduction. Doesn't seem bad either. buy a helmet half off in a heartbeat, but at the moment I'm going to leave it be. I already see an improvement I can make on my bag configuration. Ooh, wow, 10 freezies right now? Are they freestone? Oh, it's a card build. Okay. Another pineapple? Okay, Ripsaw Blade is a huge improvement to Torch here. Uh, I see why I have it set up this way now. I get it. So what I actually, what I actually want here is like this and then like well it won't be that because we're selling torch this round That's what we want in a nutshell. Also, very much want this and probably want the uh, Amanita as well. Ooh, look, we can get uh, additional Claws of Attack here if we want it. What's our stamina use? Is 1.1 a second. Double Claws of Attack is... Uh, it was maybe better than buying the Ripsaw Blade, even. Though I hesitate to say that, because Ripsaw Blade directly counters uh, a pretty decent portion of builds. Okay, let's do this. Then we're going to put the uh, Ruby in here. Can I get more out of this fanny pack? I want to. Alright, I'm going to sell the Walrus Test now. And since we picked up the Ripsaw, I'm not going to be grabbing Gloves of Attack. Uh, I think is a fair statement. And this gives us here and here. Hmm. Okay. Hitting both weapons, pineapple stack. I'm gonna lock the Amanita. 10% improvement on those is not insignificant. Also, since we start attacking increasingly fast, let's not fanny pack the, uh, sorry, let's fanny pack the pineapples here. 
We'll put this sideways and put the sword like this. Cool. Nice. Ooh, another ruby. Let's go. I mean, cheesy rice. It's really good. Perfect Sapphire, 100% chance to attack health directly, gain one, and inflict one. That is, that is like pretty nuts because this attacks super fast. I think we put the Perfect Sapphire inside the um, Claws of Attack. Also, every time we hit with a weapon, it slows down their... Um, items by 2%. What should we get next round? Plus 13? I guess that's our round. Let's go for it. I still like this better. Uh oh, banger alert. Double blood thorn? That's that spicy boy. Mm. Dang. Is this worth it? Let that roll on by. All right, they're removing uh, frost. We're still a twenty percent slower uh, rate of everything. What was cleansing frost for them? Also, yeah, we're going to go to survival mode here. We haven't lost, dropped around yet. Yeah, second Bloodthorn was a bit much for them. I agree. I agree. I like buying the armor because it gives me more uh, slots to put gems in. Carrots were cleansing, okay. I thought it was only poison, but apparently I was wrong about that. You know, I'm just going to roll here. Let's see what's up. Is there a better way here? Hmm.
Uh, the song was from the uh, the Messenger soundtrack by Rainbow Dragon Eyes. Yeah, it might be worth to drop this down now. I don't disagree with that. I'm pretty happy with that bag. Wow, that's a lot of health they got. Dang. So I'm going to buy this Shift Amethyst just in case we end up getting an armor. That's additional minus healing for our enemies. Let's buy the fanny pack at least. I'm going to buy this four square too, and then I'm going to roll looking for anything. Sixty percent chance to inflict two poison. Okay, I mean, twist my arm. Does Wolpertinger have a um, inventory spot? No. It's not armor. That's pretty good too, though. Yeah, the battles in this game are asynchronous PvP, so you're facing another player's build, but not necessarily in uh, real time. We can also combine these here. Let's do that, then we can improve the Amethyst and the Shield. Yeah, it might be worth moving the Amethyst to the Ripsaw Blade. It's fair. 8 to 10, 3 to 5. Well, let's do that, actually. I guess in that case, we might as well combine these. What do we have for healing reduction right now? 20, 40%? Nice. Gonna buy the Jin lamp half off. That's it for now. All right, Acorn Staff builds are always tough to um, compete against.
Yeah, I don't think in this case we're generating enough stuff to actually have the 27 uh, damage proc. I see what you're saying, but I don't think that quite works here. It's worth thinking about, though. All right, this should be a pretty good flute, especially for three bucks. Yeah, that's a sick flute. I mean, $2 inventory space. I'm going to take the banana too, because we do eventually end up getting attacking very fast. Oh my god. Oh my god. I... That looks pretty nice, man. We got carried big time by the gym bag on this uh, this run. We're already at a huge pretty net positive for uh, scoring. Looks like we're going to lose this one, though. All right, what was the bag we just lost against? Yeah, no surprise. Here we go. Magic Torch gaining damage to every hit. That's exactly it. They just gained damage too fast and had enough sustain. Nice bag, man. Hmm. I mean, clearly we need space, but what do we use the space for? Could definitely choose to sell off the gym bag now to pick up the heart container. Yes, unspent money does carry over to the, the following round. Correct. I'm gonna roll here. Like the hard container looks good, but I don't think it serves that much purpose at the moment. Bird, on the other hand, could crush here. I get rid of to get the bird in here. Uh... I'm mostly hoping to hit banana. Oh, look at that right there. Okay. I accept. Not hitting banana, which I should probably fix by doing this. Can I get this one hitting a banana too? Yes. There we go. The gloves pointed at the bird here as well as just serendipity. Do I have spots for a four slot? We have one, two, three, four, five, six spots remaining, but none of them are four squared. That's actually kind of tough. Without reconfiguring the entire bag, it's hard to get a four square pick. So uh, let's lock the gloves and maybe put them in here. And we'll save. Hey, my pleasure, Nandy. Thanks for being here. Okay, another Magic Torch build, which is, uh, I think, one of the things which counters us pretty good, because they start hitting harder and harder. Also have Volpertinger, which is tough. Ooh, it's happening, though. It's happening, though. 
Oh, too late for present. Cool item, man. All right, what can Fanny Pack do for us? I mean, I can just rotate it in here. Let's try making this work real quick. Looks pretty good. $5 blood gem, okay. Vampiric gloves. Alright. Honestly, another bird here could be transformative for our final round. Oh boy, that's a big old buster sword, by the way. The big dog. Wow, man. This build shreds. Alright, it's final round time. As nice as the Torquilla could be, I'm just going to buy this additional pineapple, because it's going to be good. I guess we can still fit Bird in here somehow. Let's say the gym box is done now. Oh, that's a great call. Thank you. Sure, if you are a Baxi game policy, you're more than welcome to make any suggestions you want to talk about game mechanics, items, etc. I definitely glean a lot of uh, information from chat, though don't expect me to follow your strategy directly or get too tied up on uh, individual suggestions. Your comments are appreciated. Well, you may ever find yourself in trouble for uh, with that here is being a little overly intense or demanding with your suggestions, but even then I understand and appreciate your desire to help. Thanks. Oh, well, another one. Why? As much as I love quintuple pineapple, that's a bit much right now. Okay, I could sell ruby, chip sapphire, and garlic to pick up fanny pack. Nah, let's just go here. Final round fights. The amount of thorns I'm generating is bananas. Okay, they're getting that invulnerability thing going on. I think they might have us here. Nah, this build rocks. So we only drop one heart the entire time. Plus 24. There it is. That's the one. All right, this round was awesome. I haven't used Claws of Attack in a long time, and it really paid off big here. This uh, perfect Sapphire find was also legit, because of the builds we went up against that were armor, we were just cutting through the, uh, the health instead. Alright, nice run there. Let's rotate uh, back to Ranger here. This is a pretty wicked, awesome start. If I don't say so myself. Okay, let's grab Broom here. And I'm going to grab Whetstone. And we're going to grab Shield. Alright, no, no piggy bank here. Let's roll it. Lock it. This is our Spike Shield right there. Actually, you know what? I'm going to sell this Whetstone, which we bought half off. 
Ooh, hold up. Hold up. Hero's Longsword. Yeah, let's buy these two next round and make the, uh, the thing there. We're getting plus nine. Darn. We're going to be one shy of what I want to do. Okay, still fine. I'm going to buy the rock for this round because uh, we can sell it back for one at any time we want. So plan here is to sell this back and then we're going to buy the inventory space. Oh, I meant to buy these two. This is fine. I just messed up my ordering. I'm semi tempted to sell back a clover to pick up this um, tusk this turn, but this is really good. I mean, 5% accuracy for each one. I don't know about that. All right, let's just pick up a, a garlic here. So a better play there, I think, would have been to put the clovers into storage and then make the spike shield this round and then purchase the inventory space on the following round. Fair enough. Ooh, carrot. What is the epic or the rare chance here? 20? Okay, start of battle. Weapons gain 2 damage. Good for a dagger build. Good for a lot of stuff, really. I mean, honestly, this right here is just a... Uh... Slam dunk, too. You've been bippity bopping to death. Some definite nice things about having Corrupted Crystal on hand. But, right now we're just going to make Strong Health Potion this round and give it a roll. Alright, I'm going to grab another Whetstone here. Uh, this thing does combine into an even better weapon if you get more Whetstones. Worth thinking about. Corrupted Crystal could have made Pandemonium here. I suppose we can also make Shovel this round. Ooh. Lutz. Very high stamina, true. So we're probably getting, uh, we're probably losing on this round. I'm all right with that. Sometimes in order to combine to what you want, you gotta, you gotta lose one or three. Yeah, we're just, we're just wrecked on stamina right now. Point five, point seven. okay. Roll it. You know, I'm gonna take some more herbage here. Let's lock this. Let's also lock the garlic, I guess. This runs funky. What a great track here by City Fires. Okay, we dug up a weapon, which gives us life, or gym, which gives us life steal. Amazing. Oh, does this make the blade right now? 
Well, let's check this out. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're definitely buying gloves then. Already having some stamina issues, so let's put the glove between the foods. And we'll buy this stone because there's no downside. We can just sell it back next round. Five vampirism already? Leave some for the rest of us, bud. Are we actually going to win this? It's a chance? You're saying there's a chance, man. Hell yeah. Hey, dagger's really good with the, uh, with the hero sword. Also, uh, we do have regeneration here and on the potion, so Hungry Blade is not inefficient. Yeah, we actually have quite quite the wombo in the store right now, because if we can get the leather armor, we can activate the Stone Skins potion, which can automatically activate the Strong Health potion, uh, which will give us regeneration, which can add more vampirism. So we're kind of into like a vampirism start here. Please excuse me for this moment. I'm just going to use the restroom real quick and refill my water, and then we'll continue this run. I'm thinking of buying pretty much everything in the store between two separate rounds or two and a half rounds. Okay, be right back. All right. All right, and back here. Let's, uh... I'm really unsure of how I'm gonna... what I should buy on which round. But I think is a good place to start. We're replacing the shovel with the Hungry Blade. That is... that is happening. Okay, that happened. say it's very likely that we sell rock as well. This is tricky, man. Well, 
Well, I mean, there's definitely nothing wrong with buying, um, buying dagger here. Okay, we're going to buy dagger for sure. And then we're going to move this back one. And we're going to put dagger here. I'm going to put whetstone in between these two. Okay. So it's going to be 13 next round. And next round is our subclass round too. Okay, well, we're just going to lock these and hope for the best. I think our weapon configuration here is quite good. Yo, Mirin Dashi, thank you so much for 40 months of support. Appreciate that very much. Thank you all for your uh, subs, bits, donations, Patreon, and most importantly, for the time you're choosing to spend here right now. Appreciate you all very much. All right, so on this one, we're going to go life the leaf, the life binder, I think, because we gain mana and we also gain regeneration and we're gaining vampirism off the hungry blade. So it's like the direct synergy we have right now. Also say arrow is pretty decent because we do have three weapons. Uh, we don't have enough thorns to justify poison ivy, I don't believe. We're also rather uh, locked in what we're going to be making here. So there's that. Let's move this to the corner, to the side at least. I think I'm seeing it. Okay, so we go uh, here. And then we're going to put the stone skin potion below here. So what's going to happen is at the start of combat, we're going to gain 45 armor immediately. And then this reads, when you have at least 45 armor, consume this and convert 15 health to 30 armor. So we're going to gain 75 armor at the start of combat, but it's also going to activate the strong health potion. So we gain uh, two regeneration. I don't think there will ever be any poison to cleanse on the opener there, but this does get us to that point, which is going to be very strong. So we start at two vampirism and then we go up to four. And then with this procs, we have potentially six vampirism um, with three separate weapons. Also, this can be very good. What we're lacking at the moment is space. Let's see how high of a nature synergy we can get with the leaf. Because while this food is nice, gaining more uh, vampirism is probably the best. So there's a possible four star here. Yeah, four stars the most we're going to get out of two squares. That's true. If I dump the whetstone, I could potentially get a five star here. Let's take this four star. I think I'm actually going to put the gloves here and take a three star. That's simply not true. Okay, I like this bag. I don't think we can make a better bag out of the stuff that we currently have. We're getting 75 armor and 2 regeneration at the start of combat. Good luck to me. Well, they already have Magic Torch. That's brutal. I got bippity bopping for 36 there. I think versus most other regular builds, we're crushing at the moment. Just not that one.
Ooh, I can make another strong health potion. Interesting. Also, I can make the uh, the next tier of blade here. I want to do that. Man, I've heard this song in a long time. It's a great one. Monolith's amazing game. Well, this is rather free-floating, so let's move these around. Hero Longsword. Oh, so it's not this one. That's the gloves one. So what does this do? Start a battle. Weapons gain four damage. You know what? Fine. So the configuration I want to create is like this. But that's not happening with the armor and the shield this round. Let's take a roll and then see what's up. Alright. Falcon Blade attacks twice, start a battle, star items trigger 30% faster, or hero longsword. I'm going to say the uh, Falcon Blade is vastly superior to the, uh, the hero longsword. Uh, Don Snipe, I do have a uh, text dump here of the... Let me see, see I got the command. In the Discord, it's a list of all the songs. So this is personally curated. There's not a way to check each individual song that's playing. It's all uh, video game and video game adjacent. A lot of it from uh, suggestions from you all. If you have any suggestions, you do have a channel for that in the Discord. Music suggestions, uh, really appreciate that. We're going to do another big set um, before this game fully releases in the next couple weeks. It's already extremely robust, but I still have a, a good amount of stuff to listen to. Uh, Star of Providence now, ZLC. Indeed, thank you for that reminder. Alright, Falcon Blades to in. Let's move this over to this side as well. Like, this has to exist. It doesn't necessarily have to exist in a vertical fashion like this, but is likely. Okay, having the armor in here is a must. I believe we're just going to take a weak leaf. This configuration is bothering me, and I can't really describe why. It's just like, I, I, I feel like there has to be something better for the leaf here. And I guess that's it. All right, potion, carrot, or... Garlic. There's got to be a way to do this.
Why is life so hard? Alright, you know what? We're gonna have more options next round. I'm just gonna pl plop this over here. And hit start backpack battle. Yo, OC Warrior, thanks for five months. Appreciate that prime continuation. Thank you. Means a lot. I. Thirty percent faster. We're on one point one stamina a second. We will will run out of stamina like this with this setup. Okay, need a banana. This seems very reasonable. Let's do a roll. There's a banana. Let's buy it. Round 10. Is it too late for Ruby Egg? I feel like it isn't. I feel like it's time for a full redo of this bag. It's getting weird. Line our stuff up here. Okay. Alright, for starters, let's put the shield in a four square. Alright, it's easy. Now we have three weapons to fit into this six square. We also know that the Falcon Blade has... Oh, wow, it's got stars all around. I thought it was just diagonal. This thing's nuts. What other items do we have that activate on time? We have the garlics, the carrot, the banana, the weapons. I feel like we don't want the weapons activating faster if they're next to this one uh, via the fanny pack. Like fanny pack on banana or something here. Hmm. Okay, I think the easiest way for me to <laughs> conceptualize what I want to do here is we use the blade to split the bag in half, more or less. So this side's going to be weapons, this side's going to be other stuff. We'll be able to get bonuses on each side. That lets us compartmentalize the setup. Now we can work on the rest of the bag. If we do buy egg, it goes right here in the bag. I require a two bag usage. Still not sold on this. Something that will be nice to look at here is getting the potion set up. What I want to do is create this structure so that both of these activate the uh, converted potion. Right now, nothing wrong with putting the whetstone in here. Let's build the food first, and then I'll figure out where the armor's gonna go. There could even be a world here where uh, the armor is not activated at the start, at least not for this round.
Weird bag, man. Also, this is not quite lined up correctly. Almost, though. Pretty keen on this bag, man. Alright, next question is... Is there a way that I can make... The strong health potion this round as well? Hmm. Hey, it hurts my brain a little bit too, OC, where I really enjoy thinking about this game. Um... Another game I love thinking about is chess, and it has a lot of similarities there where you kind of you are looking like super far ahead, but, you know, trying to figure out ways things are going to fit together is just like interesting to think about. I like it. This is really tough. It's it's hard to improve it, but I really want to get this potion built, so I'm trying to figure that out. Okay, we could do this. Leave the banana for this round. Still get a four-star leaf. That's not bad. All right, now the tough decision on what we are going to keep here and what we're going to roll away from. I, I'd say right now we're just struggling with inventory space. And I should probably let this very nice looking stuff pass by because of that, just to get something functional. Let's actually do a roll here. Okay. Stamina potion could be our uh, potion here. We're going to run out of stamina at some point, so that works. Let's lock this as well. I don't think it's Wolp or Tinger time. I think it's time to roll out. Never played Go doing our stuff. Only chest for me. Another uh, great game, though. The fact that I almost outlasted Double Goob is pretty exciting. I think we ran into a bit of a monster there. Whoo, lad. Goober, why you gotta be so good, bud? Hmm? This is difficult because I want to get the four potion stack set up, but I also want to buy goob and do carrot goob. It's a matter of what's more important at this moment. It feels like... Carrot Goob would be pretty sick. It's a real thunker for me. I can see Carrot Goob going quite far. Let's take a look at Carrot Goob stats real fast. Blends three random debuffs, gain two empowerment for four seconds. We're already hitting with three weapons, which are all pretty quick. 
Um, well, dagger is not very fast. Uh, the cleansing of debuffs also helps a lot because we're getting over 10 vampirism right now, so that knocks out some of the poisons and other malices. Well, took a long time to put the bag together last round. I think part of getting past diamond is going to be, uh, at least for me, a willingness to uh, redo the bag. I already see one way to kind of work this together, so let's just make it happen. Okay, so we go here. I got us con I got us configured in a pretty efficient way on this side. I think an easy add here is to put the armor uh, right here. Let's try shield here. So Goober would live like this, and then Spike Shoot will be one side of Goober for sure. And the other side of Goobert is what? Some definitely complications with Goobert here because the, we're losing out on part of the increased um, effect of items. 30% faster of triggering for that. Okay, also... In order to get four... Four potions working here. We need these two together, and we need the potion stack vertically. This is even more debuff cleanse, eight more debuff cleanse on that. Interesting. Maybe instead of worrying about potion stacking this round, we should just worry about getting uh, goob made. We're not going to be able to buy this till next round anyways. Let's simplify our life right now. Hear it here. Hear it here. Garlic. I trying to do here? No. Okay, we do have uh, this. We're going to buy this round. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, we get increased speed here as well. We can definitely live with it. Do this. Okay. I'm just gonna roll with this. We gotta get Goober combined any waves to go anywhere. And rolling right now. Actually, rolling right now could net us inventory space.
Cool. I do want armor potion as well. Our ability to cleanse debuffs uh, after this round is going to be legit. Hoo, 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 look at that. One health remaining. That's pretty promising, so we weren't even to as many debuffs yet. Damn, dude. Okay, uh, I think making vampiric armor right now might be it, but I need to get this fourth potion in as well. This is really tough. This kind of gives um, a continual source of gain for our vampirism, so that's kind of nice. How did my stamina do that last fight? I wasn't paying attention to that. Oh, we also have Bloodthorn here. I don't think this build's actually allowed to go uh, into Bloodthorn, because the, the, the round that we get this will be uh, too costly. We only have one try left. I think my best chance for making it uh, into survival mode here is to get vampiric armor and get faster vampiric armor and cleansing debuffs. So we're gaining armor continually and then we also are cleansing debuffs from the enemy. So we did run out of stamina. Okay. Can I get both? What do I have to sell to get both? You know what? I'm going to sell this base dagger to get both. Does the debuff cleanse at the end of four potions outweigh getting more regeneration at the start? I don't think so. There it is. I think stamina potions out. How bad is this leaf right now? Okay, I got three leaf. That's not the worst. Let's make it a four leaf. Alright, I'm going to leave this heart alone. I don't think this is the build for it. I'm going to trade the space of the garlic and the clovers for a small improvement too. In hindsight. Woo! 
78 crit. Oh yeah. 35 to 41 damage on that bad boy. I got Amplify. Very nice. Alright, that was a tough one. I mean, thought we did pretty good there, but, you know, it's gonna be like that sometimes. Going to a Reaper right now. You can't be too upset finding a Goobert to start your run. What's up, Goob? How goes the Goob, man? You're right, Goobert. Things got all goobed up that last run. You're right, man. True. True. I'm tempted to make shovel here next round. I think I will. <laughs> nice. Saved by the skin of my goobert on that one. Dang. Work like this? No. Still need inventory space to make this. Unless I leave goobert out of the bag this round. Hmm. I'm going to go for uh, garlic and banana here. And surely inventory space is going to show up next round. This is definitely a gambit because we're almost certainly going to lose this, but there is a chance. Versus some bags, we might be okay here, like a greed bag. Not this one, though. Well, now we have Shovel Torch Goob, so that's pretty good. $2 glove ain't wrong. We can just sell this back if we don't like it. Dang. Well, let's buy the on-sale garlic and uh, call that good. I guess I could sell back to get buy this and just have banana this round. I'm liking that idea. If only because my bag isn't very strong as is, and we're not losing any cash doing that. We sold two items we bought for on sale, so no functional loss. Blueberry's probably good to plug into this little section with Goober too. I think our decision to add the banana there saved our life. Two dollar tusk. Roll it. All right. 
Now we're cooking. We're making pretty poor use of this coffin at the moment. here for now. I saw a garlic for the fanny pack here. lock this but not sell anything for it because we're just losing uh, value by selling here because it doesn't really improve the bag right now I don't think banana and garlic being 10% faster are better than having one garlic now we're goobin Okay, more gloves. We also dug up uh, Amanita here, so we might be looking at making Poison Goob this round. It's round five, I think it's about the time we'd want to transition to Poison Goob, so we'll do that. Okay. Now, do I want to lock anything here? I'm going to free up four spots. A dagger's not bad, but this doesn't feel like it's going to be a dagger build. Yeah, we can always sneak in a little more damage. Armor is kind of tempting, too. We basically have the space for it. Let's take armor here, because it'll give us time to get our poison working with the, uh, the goob. That would have been the poison dagger right there. Other blueberry is kind of tempting. So it's, it's a good goober to activate her, say the least. 
Much better than shovel. That's where we're at right now. Definitely doesn't look bad. He's slightly better like this. Okay. Mm, yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna hold on to my stuff here. I'm surprised. Good job, Gubert. There is a possibility to make spike shield right now. What space do I use to make that? Probably... Something like this down here. Alright, I think that's uh, acceptable for now. Sell pocket sand to get four more spots. We need five to fit everything, though maybe banana and garlic can fit for the concession of one blueberry here. Looks like it. A very chill set of songs. Enjoyed that. Some real bangers on there too, but nothing wrong with some chill. I think we're taking Cursed Dagger here. Well, Ripsaw Blade is essentially a massive upgrade to the shovel. Shovel digs up stuff for us every round, so it's a little bit of money. But uh, this this takes away spikes and regeneration, which is two ways that a poison goober can kind of be countered a little bit. Well, goob, you goob.
kind of think I'm just going to drop the torch here and put the dagger in. I would like other weapons, but... Uh, I don't want to run out of stamina on the Ripsaw Blade. If I can just continually hit with the Ripsaw Blade, that's fine. Yeah, torch is kind of out. One interesting thing about keeping the torch, if we roll into a health potion, I could get magic torch, which here would be incredible. Maybe I hold on to it for that reason. Where does Fanny Pack go right now? Probably just right in here. A pretty decent goob activator. We have a good activator on every side already. Hmm. I'm gonna do one roll here. Let's see what's up. Yeah. I like the idea of poison torch, but helmet's just a straight upgrade right now. Reduce damage taken by 25% for three seconds, and prevent chance of being critical 15%. 50% stun resist too. Got two spots remaining, and it's a good value right now. The idea of torch paying off seems awesome, but, you know, use it or lose it, it could easily sit in our bag for another uh, four or five rounds and do nothing. Point eight right now with... Two bananas. So let's, let's do that. So five heal for four and regenerate one stamina. So that's 0. 0.2 stamina a second per banana. So 1.4 would be the threshold with no other bonuses. But we are getting 30% faster on this one. No, 20% and 30%. Loot is not looking terrible here. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm thinking about this item and it's like pretty weird to fit in here even if we buy either of these it's like uh a concession must be made somewhere and not really in an uh, enjoyable way if i want to have another weapon next to this one i need to rotate the ripsaw blade up and down and then have the other weapon on the other side which we're just not quite to that point yet i could see potentially dropping the uh, the armor here while it is good, it's taking up a lot of space and has not received any upgrades, and we're not activating, like, a, a potion off of it, so the space could be used for something else, like, even if we plugged a flute. That's a really nice flute. Wow. Wowzy. Okay. I'm just gonna go in on that. One dollar garlic. Let's buy the... Well... 
Yeah, this weapon's not working here. What is working is garlic just going right here. I'm going to buy the inventory space and start the round. So flu gives us random stuff every uh, now less than three seconds. It's faster per star. I wonder if there's a way to get a full star flute here. It looks like there is. Dude, another goob? Bye, goober. I think goobert's a little bit uh, greedy here. I'm really liking the setup of the bag, and this just, it makes it funky. Okay, does goobert count as a pet here? It does. Yeah, even if the goob's not good this round, it, 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 you're right, it's on sale, so it's like, uh, it doesn't cost anything to buy it. Let's just put it right here for the moment. I see one way we could kind of activate goob here would be moving the shield and just creating food synergy down here. We're still getting maximum blueberry touches. Okay, we lost uh, we lost one blue star there. That's okay. It looks pretty good. It would be better for me if the garlic was here. Maybe even we put blueberry uh, here instead. Okay, blueberry, garlic, blueberry. Now we're cooking. Okay, let's buy inventory space. And I think I buy the other inventory space. You're kind of getting ahead on space. I'm just going to hold my money. I'm not going to use it on rolling. This is definitely an extremely functional setup for where we're at. Wow, double magic torch. I think I'm getting bopped on my noggin. That was a strong bag. I think I can make lightsaber work here. Oh, wow, I can make light goob. Okay, we're going to make light goob this round. I think we're good on stamina just to do this, too, so not much harm. Let's just move the shield up to simplify and rotate the sword in here. Never mind. What does Light Goob do? It's good. Heal for 20, inflict blind. Yes. I think with how much food synergy we have here, it's not worth dropping the uh, Ripsaw Blade this round. I think this is still good. We're at 1.6. Yeah, we're right about that. We're floating it. We'll do one roll. Uh... Yeah, thank you. I 
think round 11 is a little bit late for the uh, ruby egg. I think I'm going to make cap of the discomfort here. Let's look at the recipe. Maybe do both. Yeah, it looks pretty good. You know, I think I'm going to sell flute here to buy egg. And get the shield back on Goobert. Okay. Nice. Okay, let's make Kappa Discomfort here. Let's buy it out. Let's make sure we're getting a synergy of some kind on this goob. Uh, probably just move Blueberry over for simplification. And then we're going to have to rotate everything uh, next round to get the uh, the dagger on the Ripsaw Blade and the the dragon. I think the dragon's going to share the middle goob section. We have a very awkward amount of inventory space left over on this uh, build. Still really strong, I feel. We're stacking up so much blind, it's very hard for the enemy to even hit us. 16 blind applied from Light Goober there. I'm definitely taking this one to survival mode. I've never had a build quite like this, and it's working very well. We got food on one side and all the business on the other. Believe that. Okay, well, I mean, we could, we could make, uh, Vampirism Goobert, but no. Like, going for Rainbow Goobert is what you're thinking, but we'd have to get a Hero Sword. So you really have to kind of start with Steel Goobert in order to get, uh, uh, Rainbow Goobert, in my opinion. It's fun to think about, though. I kind of think we are making blood goob here. By goob, we're doing it. The reason this seems very desirable is we have the shield and the dragon, which are both two squares, so we can put them in between the, the combined goob spots. And we certainly have space to do this as well. All right, quick restroom break for me, and then I think we're going to goob it up, guys. Be right back.
All right, we're back. Hey guys, have you ever seen a goob stack three high? Huh? I haven't. Let's do it. Now you're goobing with goobs. Hell yeah. Okay, there's definitely some work to be done here to fix this up, but it's uh, it's within reach. It's going to buy the gym here as well. I'm going to put the gym in a one square above Goobert here, so we know. All right, we know that... It's going to be dragon like this. Uh, sorry, dragon like this. Ripsaw blade, and then the dagger goes here. Okay, and then the shield goes in between the other two goobs. And now all we gotta do is figure out the rest of what happens with Goobert here. But this configuration's awesome. I never imagined something like this with three goobs where you have uh, the four square items that take up the shared spaces. It's definitely solid. Okay, let's say Blueberry right here makes sense, because it's the fastest activator we can have. Oh yeah, okay, so Dr. Austin is suggesting that there's also a way where you can uh, put the goobs diagonal and they activate versus each other. Uh, to me, this is extremely visually pleasing, so we're going to keep it this way, but that's also a good suggestion because you can have a goob activate a goob. Because you know, when you have two goobs, there can always be more goobin'. Could be. Okay, we do have an activator on individual squares for all but this one right here, so that needs to be fixed. Uh, how do we do this? We have garlic share the in-between spot. That's not the in-between spot. This is... I think it makes more sense this way. Okay, now where do I want to put the uh, the fanny pack? That's tough. We're maxed out uh, up and down and left and right, so it's like very peculiar here. I guess I can do like this at a minimum. Oh, here we go. This is going to be good. Turn these uh, vertically and then we get 20% faster here and here on two non-stamina usage weapons. All right, that's the bag. That's the one. Bye, Goobert. We're doing it. We even have five tries here, so we get to look at this precious goober stack for five whole rounds, even if we die every round. Awesome.
by goobs were doing it. Look at that cutie patootie right there. Dang. Way to be, Mr. Goobs. I think Blood Gibbert's the cutest myself. Little fangs. Pretty cute. If you have more than one goober, make sure you jiggle your gooberts evenly. Otherwise, they get very jealous. Boy, space is an odd thing in this build. I think I'm going to buy gloves. I mean, they add a value right now. Hmm. All right, uh, coal's not going to be wrong with the dragon, with the burning coal. This makes sense. We can actually extend this out. I'm just gonna go here. Let's get one more look. One more look. A pineapple's good. This is not so good anymore with how our bag's configured. If we take this, it makes a major pain of how to reconfigure everything to make it fit, where this is a lot more natural. <laughs> yeah, I'm not really going for Rainbow Goob here. I think to get Rainbow Goob, you kind of have to start with the Hero Sword. This just, this build just kind of happened. Wow, the recovery. Oh man, Bird is, um, stupendous. What if? Oh, 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 oh man. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Is there any way for us to get another star out of this? We could move the blueberry over. We had the one spot, so we can get an additional um, goob activation. How we had this before was we had uh, garlic, blueberry, garlic, blueberry. Let's make this structure again. That is pretty dang good. Okay, now there's also pineapple. So to do this, we... Go here. Right. Tough choice of where I want the pineapple here. I'd also really like to have the gloves pointed at the bird at least. It would be nicer if the bird was on the pineapple. This is better because we have one more food synergy. We have double three food synergy on the blueberries uh, with the bird here hitting the pineapple. The pineapple's a little bit weak in this situation. I'm okay with that. The pineapple's not the build. We're not gaining things off of thorns. It's just a nice add. All right, good luck to me.
Man, they're really stacking up the poison. Dang, dude. New crown going off. I think we're in trouble here. All right. Let's see this bag real quick. So the uh, the Falcon Blade was just adding poison so fast. That's fair. I'm not going to do it, but if we shifted the entire bag, we could fit the dragon and one other item inside the coffin as a small improvement. Looking at the uh, opponent's bag made me realize it was a small optimization for us. Me something better than this triple garlic. Let's put the pineapple right here. If they're gonna give it to you, I'm just gonna take even more garlic. Why not? Oh, we're missing a goop spot right here. That's no good. goob this up here. Oh, it's because I moved the goober over one, right? Let's roll and see what we get here. I think crown fixes a lot of issues I'm having with making this build work right now. Just as far as spatials goes, we get a very good goob activator down there. stamina issues but even then uh Wolpertinger is pretty crazy because we have five pets right now all right the absolute reason I'm not going to do that <laughs> is that we'd have to change the entire bag structure and it looks so good right now with the uh the goobs I think getting vampiric gloves is essentially just as good. Yep, we could drop shield here for it. That's true. I like my shield, though. I'm trying to imagine the scenario that we're able to fit this guy in between the five other pets. So, like, it had to be Goobert, Goobert, Goobert in a triangle with the Wolpertinger in the middle, the middle and then a bird on one side, dragon on the other. I think at the end of this evaluation, why it gets so tricky is we still need to maintain this structure or some uh, assembly for our weapons. And that, that that's already working very nicely for our build right now. 
we're also not having stamina issues so uh the benefit is getting uh three of the buff you have the least of which is still good i don't think worth uh reconfiguring everything for Okay, this does max out our spots. Let's just do that. Ooh. Type of food we don't have. That's a potential lot of synergy. much sustain for the card build. Okay, we have exactly two spots remaining. It's definitely good. Oof. That is so mint. Eight star bird. Yeah, I will absolutely toss a lamp in here. That's um, adequate. Bills are having a very tough time uh, holding vampirism versus us. Too much garlic. Wow, we had like a direct counter to this build because the uh, Bloodthorn gains uh, damage for every thorns and vampirism. And then we have a chance to remove vampirism with every garlic proc, and this removes thorns. So they ended with one thorns and no vampirism. They were never able to activate their damage condition. Nice. Hey, I said let's try to make it to mid-diamond today, and here we are. That's cool. That was a crazy awesome run. Never had triple goob before. It was goob and awesome. Best goob in time I've had this week, that's for sure. I think we're moving to Broom Spear here. A very nice start. Hard hitting. I mean, okay. Yeah, no kidding. We had some very lucky opening starts today. A lot of on sale good items. Just getting spear round one is uh, extremely strong. Also, I think it's 1% chance for rare on that first round, maybe 5%. I'm quite open to making shovel this round too. Let's put spear in the bag for a minute. I'll go here. We're gonna grab uh, 
shovel this round. And with our one remaining gold, we're going to buy this rock. So we can just sell it back next round for nothing. Wow. I mean, a super tempting to go, go double shield here. I think better call is probably just uh, not do that and take a roll here. We'll buy the shield and then roll. We can always sell it back. Might as well buy this too. Yeah, all right. Okay, if I keep the shield, that's four. That's these four. That only there's four here, so banana is not going to fit. I think the rocks are definitely out right now, so maybe we sell rock to buy here. Put the shield in. Banana clover. We are losing the armor penetration on the spear with that play, but still looks pretty good. The other option would be to sell shield and rock to get banana and clover. Actually, that sounds pretty nice. Double banana early game is very strong. Uh, healing for four every five seconds is powerful. Yeah, let me get caught up here. Sorry for being a bit behind. OC Warrior, thanks for five months. Night Kiko, thanks for 37. Marlux here, thanks for 61. And Vicious Sig, thanks for 88. Glad you could make it today. Thank you. Digging up a blueberry here is very fortunate. Yo, Spam Hater, thanks for 65 months. Enjoy that lurk, dude. Nate D313, thanks for 57 months as well. Thank you. Hey, my pleasure, Nate. Thanks for being here, dude. Should also point out they're selling me uh, another just straight spike shield here. I'm going to go for it. In the early earlier game, mid game especially, some of the not so hard hitting weapons get not necessarily counter but really diminished by shield. All right. Kind of need inventory space right now. I'm gonna do a roll here. Okay, whetstone, rock. Let's buy the rock and roll again. Okay, this helps out a lot.
All right, not bad, not bad. Dang, Nallard, thanks for 91 months. Nine more for that 100 club. Thank you. Yeah, shields did great. Let's take a look at the combat log real quick. Bananas. Yep. Blocks of plenty. Yo, Amoeba of Doom. Thanks for 55 months. Appreciate that continuation. Thanks so much for that sub support. Said it before, I'll say it again. Recurring sub is the best way to support this content. Thank you so much for all of your amazing support over all these years so far. No end in sight for me. So very happy to be here. What's up, Andy Tomo? Hmm. Let's roll here. All right. Oh, I got customer card. Dug that up, huh? Increase the rarity of one item in the shop every time it refreshes. Let's just do that. What is the other recipe here? Platinum customer card. Reflect two debuffs for each unique legendary godly or unique item. Interesting. Increases chance to find unique items by 10%. You can obtain plus one unique item. Maybe. Yo, Sauce Hunter, thank you so much for that five gift sub package. Appreciate that big generosity. Those recipients, please enjoy the emos. You need ad free view, and I'm very happy to have you. Thanks for that big generosity, Sauce Hunter. I'm looking to complete this recipe, the Trident, this round. Hmm. I'm just gonna leave the bag like this and go. I'm pretty happy with this one. Yo, Stacy Guru, thanks for those 200 bits and hopping on that hype train. Thank you. And they got thorns. All right, Steel Goobert outlasted us. Well goobed, men. Ooh, hey, look at that. We can make the recipe I wanted to. Beautiful. Also, $3 goob. So if we're going to set Goob up on this bag. It's going to be like this, probably. Put shovel right here. I go gloves on crown. Sure, that's pretty nice.
banana, carrot. I guess clover. Maybe instead of the uh, gloves of haste right now, I should have customer card clover. That's probably true. Hey, Fractalacula, thanks for four months, and Zealousy, thanks for that gift as well. Y'all too generous, too generous. I think Ring becomes increasingly awkward here to set up. Yeah, I'm gonna lock it. Is there any way for us to afford ring this round? We could sell a coal and the gloves and customer card to pick up ring this round. That could be worth. Let's do that. Having a hard time fitting everything I own anyways, so... No, I want the blueberry for mana generation here. good enough for now? Or is it? Alright. So that does not allow the banana. That's fine. I think we'll set it up this way for this round, then we'll come back around to it. Okay, that's the bag for right now. Ooh, that's a lot of poison. I've been goobed. Okay, on hit, destroy six armor and cleanse one debuff for each star slot free or holy item in front of it. Use 25 mana, become invulnerable, and attack 100% faster for three seconds once. Okay, so well, I mean, for starters, we definitely want to try to get uh, slots free and in front of this. Do have a couple ways to do that as well. What do we want to take here? Leaf is kind of tempting because it gives us mana to work towards the Holy Spear, but kind of seems a little weak. Uh, Poison Ivy is definitely okay. Uh, we have two spike shields, so we are gaining thorns. Hey, Gisberg, thanks for 51 months. Thanks for that continuation. Appreciate it. I'm leaning towards Ivy with the current bag. All right, let's redo this. 
uh, for starters, I would like to go here. And I would like to set up Goob to have a shield on each side. Okay. Next, let's get this moved as far south as we can. Okay, there it is. We'll go here. And I'm going to have one more than that, huh? Hmm. Oh yes, does not leave the free spot in front. I think actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop shovel here. I think that's the one. Got a low stamina. We got a pretty high damage weapon though. And that'll let us put more spots in front. We can see a little bit of power on Goobert 2. Possibility. Let's put this here, and then here. Um. Okay, so we still got two spots, so we're going to destroy six armor and cleanse two debuffs every time we attack every 1.4 seconds. Pretty good. Uh, let's buy this. Let's buy inventory space. You know... I think I might just redo this real quick. Just real fast. My idea is to place this up here on the side. Like so. And then go like this. So this is the top corner of the bag. And then Goober goes in sideways. If that's the case, we should put this back here. So I make a small concession that Goober will have uh, one less item synergy here. But in exchange for that, we get a, a pretty big upside. Okay, so we have the three sides of the Goobert activated. And we've freed up a huge amount of space in front of the spear. So now we're destroying 24 armor and cleansing four debuffs every time we attack. We're definitely still weak to builds that just do a lot of raw damage, but cleansing four debuffs every 1.4 seconds is uh, pretty massive defensively. Now to figure out where the uh, leaf is going to go. Yeah, this frees up a much better leaf potential. Right there is looking promising. Oh, 
Oh, right. We don't want to use this top rung. There we go. They still have a space, right? I do. I could shift the spear into uh, another fanny pack here. Yeah, here we go. Now we got the the five star spear. Not quite as good of a leaf, but definitely good enough. Not not shabby. Four star. I guess we get five star here, but we lose two food synergy. Let's go for four star with the three food synergy. kind of inventory space or bust right now. All right, I am not opposed to making Blood Hubert here. So I think the four square plus the carrot is a good investment this round. Nice. I think that was a good concession to make with the goober to cover three sides instead of four. Spear is still very fast for activating goober here. Yeah, right here, Blood Goober cannot even apply poison really to us. That was amazing. Oh, man. Round nine. I'm going to say it's not too late for this dragon. If only because it lights the coal and we can throw those into the, the spear to get more heat, makes the uh, thing go faster. Inventory space, please. Thank you. Sometimes all you gotta do is ask real nice. And like I could live with uh, four, four slots in front of the spear being open, like doing like this maybe bringing up this for more leaf procs. Does it even matter? Trying to figure out right now where I put the fanny pack in to make this bag make sense. I think the best spot is right here. Albeit a little awkward. Still getting four star. And then getting all three clovers in the bag. Feeling a little bit of waste right here, but once we get the dragon moved up there, it'll look a lot better. Dragon hopefully tucking in right here.
All right, win's a win. Okay, this is a holy item, so we technically only lose one square by plugging that in. We could even move it sideways to not technically lose a square at all. Wow. They're making it tough on me here. Great for activating goob. We ever make it to blood goob here, that is. We don't want to use that top rung. It's about as good as we're going to do right now. That's one worse on stars. Okay. Weird bag, man. See how we do on clearing debuffs here versus pandemonium. It's looking okay. It's definitely a bit concerning. Nice build by them, though. Gotta make blood goob this round. Not sure how we fit ring in. I'm gonna unreserve this. I'm gonna buy the bag here. There's a better way to utilize this uh, or or slot. Interesting. I think it's going to be easier to rationalize if I set it up this way. This is going to be the, the easiest to compartmentalize, I think. Figure out what's going on with the synergies. Looking like it's going to be a pretty good leaf right now. Oh yeah. Eight star leaf. 
That's 40% chance to resist debuffs, and we're clearing debuffs on hit. This build definitely still has some weaknesses, but uh, pretty, pretty strong, I believe. Let's get another uh, coal working. Armor is very interesting right now. Costs us 13 to make the armor. We need to sell here. Oh, okay. Goobert can crit. That's right. sell inventory space here why not i also just lost major value on the leaf with that i think we're going to go back to how it was i was looking at plugging the armor in between the spear and the shield but certainly eight star leaf has a nice ring to it Okay. We are like the debuff king right now. Bird sounds pretty amazing. Let's go. Fair enough. Wow, double bloodthorn. That's spicy, dude. That's spicy. They had the vampirism for it, too. It's a low stam. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Might be time to swap the shield down a little bit. We'll see. Do you think that uh, bird's pretty good here? It usually is. Let's just slide this down and then see what we create on this side. Blueberry here. 
Probably banana here. Carrot. Just keeps the integrity. And then we turn this in here, I guess. Oh yeah, I got weird fast. All right, we're still we're still eight star leaf. We have kind of a misplaced. bag here. The whole point of this was to get the get the bird in here somewhere. I'm not seeing it. I think it's important that this is up here right now just for the spacing on this one. So probably right here for the uh, bird. In fact, certainly right there. So we're going to lose one star on the leaf for this decision. I think that's a fair concession to make. Yeah, that looks uh, pretty darn good. Let's do a roll here. Another crown. Put a crown in um, sideways. It can still work. On market for another ring now. Here we go. Yeah, get out of here, armor. Get out of here. All right, we survived. Might as well go for more crit inside this bag. Why not? These rocks are not contributing to the uh, leaf, so we're just going to move everything down one here. Okay, we lost another star there. Fair enough. What if we just move this down then? Can we reconfigure? We can. Quite easily, in fact. Eight star leaf. Could certainly work, Archer Beach. I think I prefer the uh, burning coal and weapons in general. Well, that's just a preference, not a mathematical conclusion. I mean, basically, the shield fits into the build right now. Crowns allow one gem, yes.
I think we roll here. Okay, Mono Orb's huge because we have the crowns for invulnerability, so this will actually get us to our invul invulnerability period uh, faster and can potentially ramp up the... Uh, Sorry, I can potentially ramp up the um, activating of the spear too. So we get uh, invulnerability at 10 mana, invulnerability at 10 mana again, and then we get, if we reach 25, we will get 100% faster attack and invulnerability for three seconds. Sounds awesome. Another blueberry is great because it's just more mana source. Maybe, in fact, I'm moving this banana to make room for even more blueberry. Blueberries activate very fast. leave this spot open. It's the easiest way to look at it. Okay, we're still on 8-star leaf. We now have three blueberries, one of them being hit by the bird. Okay. Got a pretty good mana orb. Mana orb here is actually pretty monstrous as well. Yeah, this is the one. That is definitely the spot for that. So with this being the fourth remaining spot and on a bird, I probably want it on my next fastest, which is blueberry. Just made everything look and feel a lot nicer. I kind of need inventory space, but I also kind of need stuff. Let's buy this and then roll. All right, another crit ring would be really nice here next to Mr. Goobs. It'd also be pretty nice. Um, another one next to the spear, but we'd have to move the dragon around for that, and I'm not too keen on that idea. Let's... I'm actually going to sell the inventory space back, which hurts, but is fair. I'm going to put this here to get crit on the dragon and blood goob. A lot of crit. Oh, destroy that armor. Get through it. Okay, there's invulnerability one. There's invulnerability two. Fight's over. Oh, I think I should probably just take the win here. I don't think this build survives in survival mode. I think I should just be happy with my own survival getting to this round. I'm going to take the rating change plus All right, everybody, that's going to conclude our show today. Thanks for the great one. Had an awesome time with Spelunky 2 and Backpack Battles. Uh, reminder, tomorrow we have our Sunday stream, then Monday's off, and then Bellatro full release on Tuesday. Going to be awesome. But before then, I will see you guys tomorrow in the afternoon. Thanks for the great time. Wonderful company. Awesome conversation. Appreciate all your questions, comments, conversation. Be back and at it again tomorrow. Look forward to seeing you there. Until then, keep it dapper and be good to each other. That's all I got for today. Brag out. Have a great one.